Today on What's Next Garage, we got a Ford Fusion Hybrid. It's got some noise on the front end. Let's take it for a ride and see what's going on. So I've sat in here for about five minutes trying to turn the key to make it start. It doesn't start. So I thought maybe the battery was dead. And then I figured out it's electric. Oh my gosh. I've never been in a vehicle that's electric. And I didn't know how to start it. very loud up front it's got to be probably a bearing I bet a wheel bearing so I'm on the gas off the gas you can hear that noise there the engine kicked in We'll figure it out. We'll get it up on the lift and get it figured out. Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we have a 2014 Ford Fusion and the driver says that they're having some noise. Now I just took it for a ride and that noise is definitely there. It's either going to be a wheel bearing, a CV joint. Let's get it up in the air and we'll take a look. We'll have to get some of this stuff off. I think I see an issue. So in this axle, we're getting which seems normal and that bearing in the stabilizer back here is is good and tight there's nothing that i'm seeing and then when i come to the other side i don't get any play other than in that back back there right so but this joint is tight like there's no give and if I turn the wheel I still get no play in this joint so this joint just seems tight rotors look good the mount of pad looks really good so we'll take this side apart and I think I'm gonna pull that axle out and just take a look at how things are so we're gonna take the brakes off or we're gonna take the caliper off then we're gonna pull the rotor, then we'll drop the control arm, and we'll swing this strut out of the way, and then we'll pull the axle out. Nothing too bad. I don't, I don't have a problem tearing things apart. I just wanna make sure that when I'm done, it's the right, it's the right repair. Right? Nobody likes to do repairs and then not have them be right. But this definitely has noise, and it's a weird noise. You don't want to pry on this side because this is like a dust shield. So we're going to pry, we're going to pry right here. Okay, so this should come out there nice and easy. Whoops, there's some oil coming out. We'll just go like that. Okay, so that's out. Right, we'll pull him out of there. 
And I would bet that bearing stays. That bearing is fine. So now this, this joint right here has movement in it. I don't know if that's right or wrong. The other one does not. But this bearing here, this guy is good, feels good. No problems with that. So we'll just shove this back in. Just to stem our oil flow. So to put them back in, you just kind of, there. And shove them in, it goes in pretty easy. I don't see anything wrong. So at this point, after talking to the customer, we're gonna put it back together and we're gonna run it and we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna put everything back together. It only takes about 20 minutes aside, maybe 15 if I don't film. Also on this side, I didn't take the tie rod out or the ball joint out. I just undid the two bolts up here for the strut tower. And I did mark those. You can see there's a mark here. Well, you can't see that. The mark there and the mark there. These bolts do not set the alignment, so we're okay there. So I'm gonna put it back together. Well, I put everything back together here. I just wanna explain. I pulled the driver's side half shaft out and examined both of the CV joints. And they were, they were good. There was no play, there was no slop. Everything was really smooth. The passenger side was also very smooth. You know, there was a little bit of play in there, but that's normal because as the suspension goes up and down, you need to have movement within those CV joints. They did take it to the dealer. The dealer did tell them that there was something wrong internal to the transaxle. So they ended up trading that vehicle in and purchasing a different one. And we just need to put this hardware back in the ball tube. Perfect. We'll just tighten that up and be on our way. All right, so we're backing out with the hybrid with the no noise vehicle, which is really interesting because I just had a round of where I sat here and I couldn't make the thing go. But then it told me to take the parking brake off. I don't know how that got. That could be a bearing inside the transaxle. Yeah. That could be a bearing inside the transaxle. That one might need to go to the Ford dealer to have that looked at. It's not the CV joints. I'm thinking it's a bearing inside. Well, at this point, it appears that there's still noise and you can hear it on the camera. So I'm thinking that this time, probably gonna have to take this to the dealership. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this very unsatisfying episode of What's Next Garage. I sure wish there was something else I could do for it, but there's not. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.